The view of Mount St. Helens is now startling. A month of eruptions has covered the mountain with a heavy layer of dark gray ash. Deep cracks now cover the volcano, cracks that could mean a violent eruption is near. We circled the mountain several times, looking for a solid spot to land the helicopter. We finally put down about 50 feet from the lip of the crater. The helicopter sank several feet in the thick. Geologist Tom Benson from Portland State University was with us, picking up samples of ash and rock. He says the ash on the rim is now more than a foot thick. Mount St. Helens appears to be quiet now. Steam still rises from the pit of the crater. Earthquakes are continuing on the mountain. We can't tell how strong they are, but they've opened up deep cracks only about five feet from the edge of the volcano. The crater appears to be about 300 feet deep, and a small lake has formed on the bottom from the melting ice and snow. The crater is several thousand feet wide. The top of the mountain has actually expanded about 300 feet, which could mean that molten lava is moving up through the volcano. And if the mountain explodes, ice, snow, and rock could break loose in a single huge avalanche, destroying everything in its path down to Spirit Lake. This ledge we're on looks sort of precarious, is it? Just mildly, yeah. If you look right behind you, if you'll drop down, you see this little scarp right here. That's where the ledge we're on has dropped a couple of feet lately. Is this eventually going to fall into the pit, the Probably crater? It possibly is. The quiet on the mountaintop could be the calm before the storm. Our cameraman, Phil Beard, made his way to the rim of the volcano for a spectacular right Would it be wise for him to move back a little bit? Uh, what, well, what's... put it this way, I'd stand about one feet this side of where he's standing. Because this is basically ash over snow. And that's it's not going to keep right on coming down, right? Sure. You can see some more of it coming down over there right now. You think Maybe. I'm kidding? I'm not. <laughs> Scientists say the mountain is growing more and more unstable, actually tilting toward the north. For all of us, the view from the top of the mountain was exhilarating. Well, you know, it's a once in a lifetime deal. It's great. For a geologist, you know, it's about the best thing you can get. It's an absolutely terrifying experience standing on the edge of a volcano. A volcano, scientists say, could explode at any minute. But it's also a beautiful experience, an absolutely incredible experience. One of those things that most people can only dream about. And for all of that, it's worth it. On the volcano at Mount St. Helens, Stan Wilson reporting, Channel 2 News.